Alrighty, we're back from Lima, Peru. It is nine o'clock in the morning on Thursday. Got in last night, it's about 3.45 my time in the morning. So uh, not much sleep happened last night. But most importantly, Doria has been put together this morning as I couldn't sleep. I just got up and just put it together. Um, beauty of the Sitecom bag is that you really don't have to do much putting together. It's kind of like put the wheels on, put the chain on, put the pedals on, done. Uh, for the most part, the thing that I think that takes the longest part with it is actually just taking all my bubble wrap up, uh, bubble wrap off. That is. Um, but then uh, after you've done that, then it's pretty good. And actually pumping the disc on your own is 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 a challenge in its own right because uh, the valve is like messed up. So. Um, it takes, it takes some work to get that valve open. If you're wondering why I'm not wearing a top, eventually my goal with this vlog is that eventually, at some point in time, I'm gonna do a video start to finish where I'm wearing a top the entire time. Um, <laughs> because I feel like I, every single time you see me, I'm not wearing a shirt. Um, I do own shirts, um, a, a few of them. Uh, but uh, anyways, if you're wondering why, it's because it's it is ridiculously humid right now. Um, I am questioning whether Weather Network was right or not. Uh, like Weather Network was saying it was like 22 degrees here and sunny. And I'm like, I don't know, 22 degrees. This feels like it's 30. Maybe it's just, and, and maybe it is 22. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not used to it yet. But it is humid, undoubtedly humid. Um, sticky, very sticky. Anyways, so I'm going to go over to this little place right over there. Uh, it's like 300 meters away, a um, little cafe for some breakfast. And then we'll catch back in as I ride across town uh, and go to the Tecano Bike Store uh, to compete in the final KISS Community League Zwift race uh, on their setup. I thought maybe I'm going to run this morning and then go to the bike store. Uh, like use the run kind of to shake things out and wake myself up, but I'm like nah not doing that uh, What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go on norm attack for about hour and 15 minutes and let that shake me out instead of a run so Check back in once we get over to the bike store. Hopefully
had something to eat. I'm just walking around the uh, Barranco, which is kind of the art district. Beautiful little area here. Uh, very nice. Packed right now in the evening. Uh, should be. There's tons of restaurants all around here. Uh, after this, I'm just going to go get some groceries. Overall, this Zwift race, I mean, it couldn't have gone uh, like in terms of w what I was looking for from that race, it couldn't have gone any better. What I wanted was, and this is really the whole reason I did the vlog and all this stuff, is that I want it to be more sociable and I want it to be less so just everyone training in, in their uh, like little silos and then we come to the race and we also are solo and then we race solo and we go home and everything's solo. Um, so I wanted to do something with the vlog and with this that, I don't know what the heck that horn was, um, that kind of brought that social aspect to things and, uh, you know, got to see and meet some really great people through it. Uh, the, the guys over there at Takano were unbelievable. Like, like overall, it was just an incredible experience. They gave such great support throughout the race. And uh, like I was really happy to be, have have done that, and and like I said, met met some amazing people, um, and uh, yeah, can't recommend if you're ever in Peru, uh, like going over to Cano Bike Store, uh, if you're planning on rides or anything like that, and picking up some stuff over there because they got great stuff, really, and they're and more than that, they're they're great people, uh, super friendly and super helpful. Um, so overall, on that, a big success. 
the uh, race itself, uh, I could have done better. I, I did have trouble putting power down on the trainer uh, that was there. Um, but I mean, I can't really complain. Like the, the guys are letting me use uh, a trainer to do a Zwift race on a guy that they've never met before. So uh, overall, really, like I can't complain about that at all. And and I'm not complaining. I'm just I, and, and really the fact of the matter is, is I wasn't here to to do you know a super duper Zwift race. I still did very well. Let me put put it that way. I still put out 320 watts for 40 minutes. Um, so and I had the highest. Highest watts per kilogram in the race and highest uh, 20 minute power uh, in terms of watts per kilogram in the race. So, um, I mean, it was a great performance. Could I have done better? Sure. Uh, like I said, I had trouble putting power down on the trainer, but overall, I, I wasn't here to do, a, you know, out of this world Zwift race. I was here instead to, to meet some great people and interact with the community here, and that's exactly what what I accomplished and, and uh, got out of it. It was, like I said, it was. Uh, so much better than uh, even better than what I expected uh, from t after talking to the guys like they were amazing and I cannot say thank you enough they were just incredible uh, throughout this throughout uh, the day here um, so now I'm uh, gonna head over get some groceries I got a wicked migraine by the way that didn't help the race either uh, but again can't complain with things uh, my groceries is gonna be basically find pasta uh, of some sort uh and uh that's it <laughs> and uh see if they have cereal i'm not banking on it what i learned from europe is is a lot of the stuff that we have in north america we don't realize that people don't uh don't have fruit loops uh in other places of the world <laughs> so i'm not gonna bank on it but uh find some pasta find some bread and we'll be good Alrighty, thanks so much for watching i'll see you tomorrow for another day from peru with an open water swim see you then Died and gone to heaven. Peru gets me. Carbohydrate haven.